Hello, everyone. This is the most intelligent and magnificent bird, Buckbeak, speaking to you today. And in today's video, I will be going over and discussing the all-new Warfare and Whisperer's exclusive weapon. And before we get started, I hope all of you are doing good and staying safe out there. I'm doing good and I'm staying safe for the most part. And I think we should just go ahead and jump into this and see what this is all about, shall we? Warfare and Whisperers Exclusive Weapon The Whisperers continue their never-ending warfare with the Blood and Whisperers event. The event will start tomorrow on October the 1st, and the event will end on October the 8th. The limited time warfare roadmap is unlocked after you've completed the blood roadmap and will drop walker eyes from running stages and as rewards. You'll use the heads on spikes as energy, but you're going to want to save up. The stages take more heads on spikes for each stage, but they will also have a chance to drop more walker eyes as you progress through and rerun the road map. The more heads on spikes you use, the more walker eyes you will get along the way. Walker Eyes will be used to exchange for two new chance bags available in the Whispers Gray Market. After you've collected 200 Walker Eyes, you can choose between a Doomsday Token Bag or a Broken Whisperer Mask Bag, which both drop different amounts of their rewards. Once you have enough heads on spikes, you can rerun the roadmap over and over to farm Walker Eyes and get more chances at Broken Whisperer Masks or Doomsday Tokens. The Whisperer Warfare roadmap will be the final place to use the heads on spikes during the Blood and Whispers event. In addition to this final roadmap, the final mini event for the month long Blood and Whispers campaign, United Suffering, is on the way in early October, and we want to make sure you are fully prepared. We mentioned previously an exclusive five star weapon, and we're happy to share with you this first ever. Allegiance 5 star weapon Alpha Sal Savage Dirty Machete. And here is a quick look at Alpha's Savage Dirty Machete. It has 30 crit, a huge bonus to AP when attacking, uh, Whisperer's Allegiance. All Whisperers receive 60 crit and 15% AP at the beginning of each wave, and heal reduction on crit. When dealing a critical hit, give that enemy 50% heal reduction for one turn. This is a first-of-its-kind weapon that will give buffs to the Whisperer's Allegiance, you will need four of the Whisperer's Allegiant, Allegiant Fighters at Grade 5 to be able to fight for this weapon in the final piece of the Blood and Whispers event. Coming in early October, so keep an eye out for more info as we get closer. The Warfare Roadmap. Okay, so let's see. Mythic Fighters only, 
obviously. The energy is heads on spikes, as it mentioned before. And, yeah, we are going to have to save a lot of those heads on spikes. Because, like, look at the cost. Ooh, 200... Let's see, 200, 300, 350, 75, 80. You will need 390 heads on spikes just to run that once. If my math is correct on that, and it does seem like it is correct on that. 390 heads on spikes just to run that one time. Like, that... I, I'll give my thoughts on it when we get done reading through it all okay yeah so we are done reading with that so that's a lot of walker eyes but you need 300 390 that yeah 390 heads on spikes that is that's crazy i i highly doubt i'm going to be able to do that roadmap um it's a pretty decent, you know, pretty decent event if, only if, you are a Survivor's Club member. If you're free to play, this is not going to be a good time. You know, if you don't have that Survivor's Club, yeah, this is definitely not going to be achievable. I, I just don't see it. Unless you buy the offers and stuff like that, um... But yeah, I have to say, I have to say this whole Blood and Whispers event has been disappointing. I gotta be honest, because I have been able to get two Gold Mythic Lydia's, but that's it. I've only been able to get two of her. I would have at least, if I would have been able to at least get three of her. It wouldn't be so bad, but just to be able to only get two of her, yeah, that's pretty disappointing. Especially for those that don't have the Survivor's Club, which I am not paying that uh, $25 for that. That's not... If they would bring the price down to about... If they would bring the price down about $10, I would probably think about getting it, but... I am just baffled that that's still $25. Like, where I'm at, it's definitely $25 for sure. If it was about $15, maybe $16, I would probably maybe think about getting it. But I don't have $25 to get that every month. I I just don't have that kind of money to commit that, to commit to the Survivors Club every single month. I mean, $25, that's... That's a lot. I mean, it it really is. I mean, you know, I do buy the 30-day pass. That's a reasonable price in my price range. And I'll even get the battle pass, which, you know, that's $20. But I don't get every battle pass. I have gotten most of them, the battle passes, that is. But not every single one of them. So, so far... I've had a disappointing time with the Blood and Whispers event. Unfortunately, uh, it's not like the, um, um, what's that one event way that happened way earlier? I forgot the name of it. Uh, is it called, it's called, um, I know it had Negan, Governor, um, Negan, Governor, Dwight, um, that's been the best gold mythic event so far. This one, it's, you know, it, to me, and for free to play, it's pretty disappointing. But for Survivor's Club, yeah, you know, you're getting, you're getting the benefits for sure. But anyway, um, I think the weapon, I'll talk about the weapon before I go. Um... I think the weapon is definitely unique. It's both good and bad. If you do not have a team full of whisperers, then that weapon is totally useless. But if you have a team of whisperer allegiance fighters, then that weapon is good to go. 
But again, on the other side of that, if you do not have a single Whisperer on your team, yeah, that weapon is absolutely worthless. <laughs> so perhaps they could make a a a wep a an allegiance based weapon in the future. I think they could make an allegiance based weapon a whole lot better. This is their first crack at it, so it's good and it's bad. But anyway, I don't want to spend any more time ranting about this Blood and Whispers event, so that's pretty much going to do it for this video. If you guys want to jump down there to the comments and tell me what you think about the Warfare and Whisperers exclusive weapon, or just to simply say hi, you may, if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up and if you like my content subscribe to see more it would be much appreciated and to those who are subscribed to me already it is very much appreciated you guys are very awesome and i thank you again i want each and every one of you to have a magnificent day and magnificent weekend ahead and don't forget to hit the bell and switch on all notifications so you know the second I upload to YouTube. I am Buckbeak, and I'm going to go fly away back to my nest. Until next time, bye guys.